The question is, the, the, we call them cows. You know, we didn't mention our name tonight. Our, our, the name of the project is Breeding to Feeding, but we call those uh, Dairy Limousine Cross Calves Beef Builders. That's our, that's our new name. So you're talking them beef builder calves, right, Dale? Do they stay on the cow to 400 pounds? No. No, dairy calves all come, cows, calves off of dairy cows all come off on day one. Yeah, that's how it, at day one the calves are, they come out of the dairies, we pick up every day, they go to the calf ranch, and then we, they get, the bull calves get put on a semi of about two loads a week, and they go to Texas, and then they're in a calf ranch until about 400 pounds. How long does it take to get to 400 pounds? About 150 days. Go ahead. I always figure the ones that don't make it are the, is the cows that they thought got pregnant to limousine and didn't. No. <laughs> but uh, once the, most of these calves have been fed in, in by my good crew I got here in Nebraska. And uh, Ishmael's gotten to be a master at sorting. I think you're doing the sorting down there, right, Ishmael? Um, we'll get a few uh, dairy looking calves but I, I just figure they, where's Mitch? Did them calves fall through the cracks or they actually got some limousine in them? But w when they come out of the calf ranch, Don, um, and Dale, you know what a calf ranch is? Probably a place where they keep calves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they start in little hutches, uh, you know, and they bottle the calves for how many days? about 50 days on a bottle and then they move them to a pen and start giving them a little dry matter feed, you know, they, them little calves convert probably better than hogs. Why you ask that question instead of me? But uh, once they come out of the calf ranch, uh, you know, we got to sort about 5% off is what it's been that don't quite look like beef calves, but then, and we get them out of the system early you know, because they don't really fit. But then once we sell them to the packer, I mean, that's that's the grade right there. They're all beef carcasses. We haven't got any dairy types, you know. We went and watched the first, I took a bunch of the team with me and we went down to Dakota City and, and got into the cooler when they harvested those first cattle. And, and Dee Sandorsky, uh, one of the guys that's been with IVP for many years, come with us as we were walking in there that day he said this is going to be real interesting to see how many of these carcasses are still dairy carcasses and uh, we ought them because uh, they were all we flipped them all 100% beef well with that uh, we can wrap it up I want to thank you all for attending uh, like I say we'll be around here mingling if anyone wants to visit more one-on-one -on -one, but uh, we appreciate you all coming out this evening viewing the cattle and we look forward to hosting you again tomorrow. Thanks and get a good night's rest. <laughs>